Hi guys, I'm actually so excited to film today. I feel like I have not sat down and filmed in a hot minute, so I'm excited to do it today. I've got some new makeup products, some new makeup brushes, and all sorts of stuff, sorts of stuff that we're gonna play around with. Um, I just wanted to have like a cute fall makeup look because I feel like this week has been so, so busy, um, just from like me personally. And so I was like, I just wanna sit down and do some cute fall makeup. I have some, I have like many reasons I need to get ready today. So I was like, well, might as well just film it. Also, Refer. Um, I've heard everyone and their mother talk about the Refer brushes and they sent me a ton of stuff. So thank you to Refer for sending me this um, whole brush collection. I'm ecstatic to use it. Everyone loves the Refer 04, which I believe is this brush. It's like a cute little, um, I guess you could use it for contour or blush, whatever your heart desires. But I'm most excited about number 22. I just think that's going to be a really good like blush br or a bronzing sculpting brush they're very like makeup artisty so i'm excited about that also i got these new earrings at um tj maxx which i'm excited about they're from the brand bella and jack so that's that i have um i actually saw this picture of or actually it was a video of kennedy urich i think that's how you pronounce, pronounce her last name on tiktok and she was talking about how hourglass did her makeup and hourglass actually sent me a huge pr box and so i was like i'm gonna use some of the hourglass stuff that they sent me so, we're just going to have a, a grand old time. My skin's kind of um, um, feeling some type of way. Like, it looks fine, but I have not been sleeping all that well. Like, even when I'm asleep, I feel like I'm not sleeping well because I'm having dreams and all kind of stuff. So, we're going to refresh my skin. I'm going to be using the Dalba um, First Spray Serum. There has been over... Why well, it's not focusing? There's been over 15 million of these sold on Amazon, and it is a white truffle serum spray. So, you shake it up. You mix it together. So, you mix the serum and the actual, like, um, oil layer. And it's infused with white truffle extract. It has avocado oil, um, sunflower seed oil, chia seed oil, which is really calming. It's also been clinically tested for um, sensitive skin. And actually, I saw Laura Lee. That she was talking about this yesterday. And she was like, I will always repurchase this off of Amazon. And it just makes your skin feel really, like, hydrated, healthy, and stunning. Like, it just gives your skin, like, a really nice glow. It helps makeup. You can use it before or after makeup. I use it both. I have been using it both. Um, before, it just gives you, like, a nice like even canvas to work for or work on and then afterwards it kind of just like melts your makeup into your face so it looks really really good and it gives like a really glowy look and enhances like just the vibrance and like vitality and just overall health of your skin like it just makes your skin look better so like I said the serum is actually on the bottom that's the, like the white part and then up here is the oil layer with like all the chia seed oil the sunflower and avocado oil so you just mix it together by shaking it which I shake the majority of all my products anyway. Because I feel like if, even if it just sits there for like 30 minutes, like things are going to settle, you know. And so then you shake it and then you mix the serum and the oil together. And then you just spray. It also has a really fine mist, which I love. And you can tell like right away. It just gives you like the glowiest, prettiest skin. And it smells so good. I love this. Also, it's not going to dry out. Like it doesn't dry your skin out. Because a lot of the sprays I use, I'm like... I don't really like the way that made my, feel, my skin feel afterwards, and it does not do that. Like, it just provides you with the prettiest glow, and it smells really nice. It feels really good on the skin. I'll be repurchasing. You can get this on Amazon, like I said. Also, I mentioned this in one of my other videos. I've been wanting to get, like, more into Korean skincare, and this is actually made in Korea, and it's just chef's kiss. Like, there's just something about the formulation, the way that they do products and, and formulate that I just, I love. So, shout out Dalba. Like I said, my skin is kind of looking weird like it doesn't look bad it just doesn't look great so I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put my concealer on like I usually do and kind of just play around and see see what I want to look like I also think that there's going to be something in here that surprises you all because I have been using false eyelashes I know but I've been using the individuals and I'll show you the ones that I've been using specifically oh my gosh because um I love them and I feel like they make the biggest difference in my makeup like the biggest difference so I'm going in first off with the elf flawless um brightening concealer in the shade light 26 in which I can have a link down below for you all where's the lid to this thing darn it so I leave that on my skin for just a second so I get a little bit more coverage out of it because it doesn't give you that much coverage it just gives you like a a brightening effect if that makes sense so I'm going to use that and then I'm trying to think I guess I do want a little bit of coverage on my face so I'm gonna use this it's the Patrick Ta creamed powder duo as well as like the little brush I love this um and just add a little bit of coverage on my face just because I am gonna be gone like the rest of the day and I'm gonna be out late super late and I want my makeup to look pretty and I want it to look like I want it to last you know what I mean 
but I have this little trick that I've been doing that I'm going to talk about in another video to make me look like a thousand times better with no makeup. So, I'll share that with you. Also, I think I did get a uh, discount code with Babe Lash. And you guys know I've been using Babe Lash for probably, I don't know, four or five months now. And I feel like I love it way better than the Rodin and Fields one. I think it's literally just a discount code. I don't think it's like a commission code or anything. If it is, that'd be great. But nevertheless. Um... So I can have it linked down below too. I'll have to remember that. Um, but I use it on my eyebrows. And if you go back and look at my other videos, if you look at my eyelashes and my eyebrows, like they look way thicker, way healthier, just like way better in general. Also, the thing that I love about this um, cream and powder duo is the fact that like it's so light and you can build it up as much as you want. Like I know I've been doing this for a solid minute now, but it's still extremely light coverage. And it's just like, I don't know, evening my skin tone. It just looks really nice. So, I'm going to go in and blend my concealer out. Also, I've been going in, like, multiple times and blending my concealer out. Um, like, I'll put on the rest of my products and then blend it out again. For bronzer, I think I'm going to mix. I'm probably going to do my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, but I'm going to use this under it, the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I have mine in the shade to five. You can also use the Charlotte Tilbury, but this is a much cheaper alternative. And, like, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this because... Quite honestly, I don't need a whole lot, and I just want to have, like, a little extra glow. And I like the way that it makes my skin look. And then I'm going to go in. Apparently, this is, like, sold out everywhere, because my sister-in-law was like, my sister-in-law was like, I cannot find that. Um, so, I'm going to use my sponge again. And I just put it in the places that I would put my bronzer. And it kind of acts as just, like, a glowy base. And something for your bronzer to stick to, but it also provides you with, like, the pretty bronzy glow and I've been bringing it down a little bit more because I feel like my cheekbones are like they're high cheekbones but they start low and I want to accentuate that rather than just like put it where everybody normally puts it I'm so happy to be filming again like I literally missed it okay I'm gonna use this bronzer and I'm gonna actually use it I'm gonna try it with the um refer 22 brush this is like a big um fluffy brush but it's a little bit more I don't want to say dense because it's not dense. It's just a different texture than the Charlotte Tilbury one that I normally, that I normally go for and use. So I'm going to try it. Oh, it's nice. It's laying down the product nicely. I feel like it makes it such a big difference in your face whenever you put contour where like you need to contour versus like where social media tells you to put contour. Cause I don't like to put mine high up. I like to put mine lower because it's where my cheekbones are. And that's just what looks better. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to take my Morphe and R.E.L. Um, collaboration brush. This is the A11. It's just a fluffy brush. And I'm going to dust that on my eyelids. Like so. Just to make everything look really cohesive. I don't, by any means, want to wear heavy makeup today. But I want to be like a little bit more glam slash like put together, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to contour down the sides of my nose like I always do. I just put a little bit of bronzer. Literally straight down the sides. Also, I just love the undertone of this, the Dior bronzer or the Dior no powder powder in the shade 5N. You guys know I've talked about this a thousand times, but the undertone is just a little bit more red, which matches my skin tone um, more so than this one. I hope that you all will be able to tell. Like it's just a little bit deeper and um, I think just looks a little bit better on my skin. So I'm going to put that in my crease as well, just a lotly and then down the sides of my nose. Then same thing, I'm going to hit it with my big fluffy brush from Charlotte Tilbury in the Dior powder and go over the bronze are already put down. That's that. I'm going to do my brows now. You guys know that I'm always using this Sephora brow pencil. So you guys have seen me do this a thousand times. I'm going to go off camera and do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, let me actually scooch you a bit closer. Closer. Can I do that? Can I zoom in on this? No, I can't. Okay. Okay. Um, so all I did was do my brows. I just filled them in in like their natural shape. Nothing crazy. Um, but I am going to use... I keep feeling like I have a crust. You know how it be sometimes. I'm going to use, I don't like this angle. This is the Dibs Beauty Unbothered Bronze. This is the, I don't remember what this is called, the actual stick. But this is the shade of it. It's a gorgeous bronze color. Stunning. It also has such a, like, beautiful childhood smell. I don't know what this smells like from my childhood, but nevertheless. And I'm going to take it on this um, domed brush right here. And I just kind of dabble in here and put it all over my eye. Because I love the bronzed look. Actually, I guess I need to hold it. 
because I love the bronze look and I feel like it's so simple and subtle and just like gives you a really pretty color um, and like a bronzy sheen at the same time. So I just rub that quite literally all over my whole eye. And because it's cream and there's powder beneath it, it's going to stick better, which I love. Cute. Now I'm going to take the same Unbothered Bronze, except I'm going to put um, some on like a smaller brush like this and go below the lash line and smudge that out just to give like a little bit more of like a dramatic bronzy effect. Love that. You can also use these on your body. I love dibs. Genuinely, genuinely, I love dibs. Like, I love Courtney, but I love dibs. So, convenient. I also have yet to put blush on, so I'm going to do that. You guys already know I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy. Just pulls my look together, always. Okay, now I think I'm going to go in with the shade Solstice. Is that the right? Oh, this is, oh yeah, Solstice. This is from Hourglass. This is the, like, exact pencil that the girl was using in the video. Oh, wait, that's dark. I don't know. It's a, it's a lighter, like, taupey brown. And I think I'm just going to use that like on the top and smudge it on my top lash on. And then a little bit like connect the corners. I'm also going to put it in my waterline. Actually, I think I'm going to put plum in my waterline. This is the Persona Cosmetics one. Um, I love their, their liners. I'm trying not to get this on my contact because I did last time. It was unfortunate. But plum looks really good with green eyes. So I'm going to darken that water line up. Perfect. And then where I put that um, liner up top, you guys can kind of see how it looks. I'm just going to smudge everything together because it is like a really soft pencil and I want it to be soft, not harsh. So I'm just smudging everything with this refer brush. Dang, that does look nice on my eyes, like brighten my eyes up a whole lot. I like that. Um, would it be a Katie Fawn video if I didn't take my Charlotte Tilbury classic brown pencil and draw a baby wing? The answer is no. Okay, that's that. I'm going to make that look 20 times better as soon as I um, get my mascara on. But I'm going to put on my mascara. If you've watched me before, you already know what mascara I'm going to use. It is the Ilia Fullest Volume, one of my favorite mascaras of all time. And then I'll show you how I put on my lashes. Okay, I feel like my makeup looks so much better in person than it looks like through the camera. I don't know why the camera's playing me like this. But anyways, child, um, I'm gonna put on a little, more, a little bit more blush. I'm probably gonna use the Happy Blush. Ah! That hurts so bad, I just cut my finger open. Ow. Okay, uh, moving on. I'm gonna use the... Happy Blush from our girl Selena. You gotta keep out for Selena. Anyways, I'm all over the place. I am gonna put on fake lashes in a minute, but I just wanna put on a tiny bit of this blush for funsies, because I feel like it pulls my makeup look together. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Duo Complexion Brush and make it look cute. So that's that. That looks really pretty. Okay. That looks good, you guys. That looks really good. My freaking thumb is killing me. Okay. Cute. Now what I'm going to do is go in with these individual lashes. These are the ones that I've been using. They're kind of hard to find. I got mine at Walgreens or you can order them off Amazon. It's the Kiss Look So Natural Trio Lashes. Specifically, these are the ones that look very wispy, very natural, and stunning. Okay? Okay. So what I do is I use these and then I use this glue, which actually Kiss had sent me a bunch of stuff. So thank you to Kiss. I really, I love that. Um, this is the Kiss Super Flex Strip Lash Adhesive. This is the Lash Couture. And then I just have mine in clear because I don't mess around with black lash glue. It just is a no for me. Um, I don't trust myself with black lash glue, honestly. So then I take my tweezers. The tweezer Man lashes or Tweezer Man tweezers are really good. These are just, I recommend having the ones with like the slanted, um, whatever it's called. So then I just pick one up, dip it in a glue, just a teeny tiny bit and dip it, like tap it off. So there's no ex excess glue, but you want it to be obviously like enough glue, make it tacky. So I spray it on just a little bit. And while my eyes open, I look down and then I place it right above my lashes and then 
mesh it together by pushing it down so that it looks literally just like it is my lashes. And I place them on the outer corners because I feel like that's where it's most flattering on my eye. But um, you can place it in the middle if you want them to look like bright eyed. James is texting me. What you want, best girl? Oh, please send a picture ASAP. The brown boots are in. The suede brown boots are in. I need them. I need them. It's, it's essential. I need them. And, like, just kind of play around and see, like, where you like it. Or where you think it's going to be, like, most flattering on your eye. You know what I mean? So, I usually do two on each side. Um, just because I think that's what looks good. But... Do whatever your heart desires. You just want to make sure that the whole lash band is covered in glue, but not, like, crazy. Okay. So, I tried to fix that with, like, oh. I tried to fix that with some plum eyeliner to, like, mesh the two. My lashes on my right side are just kind of wild now. But I'm going to use this from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the shade Icicle. It's just a really pretty top coat. Um, my right eye just fully gave out on me. Like, a really pretty top coat. So, I'm going to use a little bit of it on this domed brush. This is from Morphe and Ariel. This is the A29. And then I'm just going to pack that on this middle of my lid. Like just a little bit to add like some shine right there. That was disgusting. That was bloody disgusting. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. So that's that. Um, I might try to add just like a little bit more liner on the top right here. pull it together yeah that helped okay love that next I'm gonna do my lips and I'm just gonna do liner and lipstick probably I'm gonna use the iconic nude eyeliner lip liner it's a stunning color honestly love it and I feel like I've used this forever and ever like iconic nude and it just never goes away like iconic nude just refills itself has anybody ever gone through one of these be honest Okay, there's Iconic Nude. I'm going to put on a little bit of Supermodel from Charlotte Tilbury just because this is like my exact lip color. I think, that, whoa, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm going to set my makeup with my Dalba Serum Spray. I also love that name, like just Spray Serum, Serum Spray, etc. Stunning. We've walked her in. Is there a step I'm forgetting? I feel like there is, but I don't. I look at myself and I'm like, mm, no, you've got it covered, bestie. You've got it covered. Okay, guys, this is it. This is the final look. I hope that you guys love it. I feel like this is the perfect, like, this is the perfect fall makeup look. I feel like it's accentuating my eye color. I feel like it's accentuating, like, my natural features and shape of my face. And, like, it just looks really nice. I feel like the color on my eyes is really pretty. It was super simple to achieve. And it's just, like, quick, easy, out the door sort of vibes. But it's still, like, an elevated glam sort of look. Um, so I love that. Here's a little close up. Like I said, I do feel like it looks better in person. I think those kiss lashes are, I think that the Dalba, um, spray serum underneath makeup looks just phenomenal. I love it. Um, I'll have everything linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'll also have Fawn Beauty link below. So if you would like to support my brand, you most definitely can. That'd be greatly appreciated, but make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. And I hope you have a fabulous day.